M0 FXP, welcome back to the channel. Someone asked me, can you program a Yesu VX3 using Chirp? And yes, you can, by the way. You do need that sort of single pin cable that you can just see now. I'm just circling it. Hopefully you can see that if you can't. Above my head, basically, it's a single pin cable. You do need that for, you know, for reading and writing using Chirp. But what a fantastic device. They definitely do not make them like this anymore. VHF, UHF, compact, it has air band, PMR frequency, very wide band coverage. I believe it has that old fashioned ARTS where it sends out DCS codes and you can track each other and see if you're in range of each other. The guy that sold me the one I've got said that he always used it to listen to the marine channels. There's a built-in CW learning feature. I mean, I think that's excellent. Now you've got this thing here, wires to internet key. Hmm, don't really know what that is. And you know, roughly it's a three watt device. Now I've got a short bit of video here, of one in action until the one I've got is programmed up and then I'll make some videos of mine. But you can see on the front, you've got the mode, the band, the TX power, VFO memory, all your classic, uh, you know, selections that you would make there. But this, this brochure that I have found, it really shows what a nice looking radio is. It's got that unusual thing where you pull out the knob. I've got the clone of this as well. So this is the clone, okay? And, and the clone is actually pretty good for what you pay because they're not expensive. I think they're like £40, aren't they? They're not expensive. It's still got the pull out knob thing, you know, where you pull it out and then change frequencies. And it's got a broadcast radio, so is the, the VX3. So no complaints with that. But obviously the Yesu original is more preferable. A couple of images here direct from Yesu. And you've got the radio button at the bottom. Next to that it says antenna, ARTS, HM and RV. So you're, I'm pretty sure that that's going to take you to the repeater input, is it? On the on the left hand side where the buttons are, I can see a red button there. Um, so we've got specs, scan, of course it scans. Uh, you can see the LED sort of signal meter and then what's that say dual watch on the front volume button on the front and a big quite a big LED light as well slimline FNB 82 li battery I think you can I know you can still buy them because they use they actually use them in in some I'm pretty sure they use them in some of the uh, meshtastic devices so yeah slimline battery 3.7 volt and it says a thousand milliamp when a small device like this is going to last quite a while so as I said earlier, it does you you can use Chirp to program it. I haven't seen Yesu software, but I've seen Chirp. Oh, come on, Chirp, use add in the the repeater input output CT CSS shift, and away you go. And so there it is. There you've got the sort of TRS type plug that plugs in there, and that'll be where you're. You know, if you're going to use a headset or an external microphone, that would go into that socket. I'll have to look at the accessories. But again, what a nice looking device. Just look at it. SMA antenna connector there. Another nice clear photo there of the LED, but the pull, the sort of pull and turn, it's also a lot a way of locking things. So when you got it in your pocket, this was the idea behind it. You got it in your pocket. You didn't keep changing the channels. Uh, and again, it's just a very nice looking. I, 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 I literally see no reason why they stopped manufacturing these. But saying that you can still buy them brand new in Japan, brand new. So someone's manufacturing them. And in this photograph, you can see the bar antenna. So there is a built in antenna to the unit. So you don't have to use um, the, you know, your rubber duck for certain bands and frequencies. So it's just something else that you've got. I'm sure this is probably modifiable as well. I'll have a quick look to see if there's a, a hack to open it up. So here's Chirp. And I've looked at it, just download it and you can, uh, you can definitely select the Yesu VX3 and as soon as I've got it in my hand I'll be doing very detailed videos how to program this device up select the radio select the the uh, Morse code trainer but also they this ARTS that they they, they talk about this wires too I mean look at this manual <laughs> look at it I mean god blimey you know fantastic look at all this I have to look through this Air jack, you can now see the on off button on the left. Monitor is squelch PTT power external jack, and all the different button functions. There is it activate the wires internet connection feature. Does anyone even use that? 
records the weather broadcast channels, shortwave broadcast station, activates arts. I know what arts is, I've used arts. And there's a nice screenshot there of all the different functions on the actual screen. Let's have a look. You've got memory bank, operating channel numbers. Of course, you can save channel memories. Shift, minus, plus, squelch, DCS. And there's that internet connection feature active. Has anyone ever used it? Please email me. Priority channel, volume, um, F button, dual watch, even though it's single display, but it's it will do dual watch, means it will quickly flick to another channel. And lock button there, is that some sort of timer? uh notifications bell battery automatic power off and going up and it says here whether you've got stereo probably broadcast accessories i'm just going to show you the picture it's a lot easier than it move me down a bit so in the photograph i see a headset i see a speaker microphone which i've got more headsets oh yeah the ct44 adapter so you can use a normal twin pin mic there it is there you can still buy them now the i've still got the the see the charger the the um bat sorry the cigarette lighter adapter i've got the case with the a that holds the a batteries haven't got the leather case and it looks like you've got a little adapter there sma to bnc uh, female is it or is it male or well, one or the other antenna and that's where the battery just clips in and there's a lock button mains charging and it, the, the screen shows you there's the battery holder there's your ct44 oh look that's interesting and on this there's a hole in the top and there's me thinking it was in the side i did not know that hmm. okay i know when we get it scrolling through changing bands and there are a lot of bands i want to make sure i'm not in the way of anything as i scroll up but yeah fast forward nearly finished now scanning transmission you know you need a ham radio license to transmit on hand bands there's your radio press the radio briefly and then you're in radio mode and then you can save memory channels or just scan through. And then you've got your sub band. So you're selecting this sort of A and B band. Excellent. They, like I'm going to say it a million times. Why stop selling something that's really popular? You know? Because the thing is, I know we've got our, bo our Bofangs and our Quashangs and all that, and they're okay. But Yesu, Kenwood, Icon, they make the top end, you know, it's the top end quality. You know it's the best. 1750 tone, CTCSS. Let's go a bit faster now. We'll be here all day, won't we? Memory banks by the looks of it. And yeah, just shooting through now. Emergency ID. There's the automatic range. Like I said, it just sends out like a DCS tone. See if I can see the the wires thing. So it says here, here it is. It's rotate the dial. Tell us what it does. The VX3 can be used. I'll make sure you can see all this. Let's get this out of the way. A minute. I'll read it and then we'll end the video. The VX3 can be used to access a node, repeater or base station, which is tied into the Vertex Standard Wires TM Wide Coverage Internet Repeater Enhancement System network operating in the SRG, Sister Radio Group mode. Details may be found at the WiresX website. Mm. So do you think that, um, I'm gonna copy it, that address. Do you think they even still use this? You know, that's what I think. Is it even a thing anymore? Copy. Yeah, so they must have provided it, you know, terminate wires service 2017. So they must have sort of provided some sort of server, I would say. Yeah, now we're looking at the new sort of wires X, which is this. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. And remember, they did the VX7 as well, and that's really smart.
which I think was the same sort of thing. They did a tri-band one, didn't they? Were actually transmitted on uh, 50 megahertz. And it was, a you know, for its time, it was ahead of its time. Beautiful device. Um, and they, they sort of followed on this with the Yaesu FT1D, and that's a beautiful device. Still got that. But the battery on it, I remember the battery on it, it wouldn't last too long, but the actual device uh, is a beautiful, it's a very nice device. And I don't see many of these for sale. People tend to keep these. Bye for now.